I have never washed my strawberries when I make chocolate covered strawberries. So I've been doing some research because, you know, today's vegetables and stuff. So let's try it together, guys. Hopefully it works. We'll see. So we're going to put three cups of water into our cup, into our bowl. And then we're going to add a cup of white vinegar. So we're going to pour our white vinegar in there. Mix it up a little. Oh, that smells bad. Then we have three packages of strawberries. Let's go ahead and just pour them straight in there and we'll use this to rinse them. They also claim that when you do this, it makes them last longer in the fridge. And so we're gonna do all three packages just to see. Wow, guys, the vinegar smell is heavy. I'm gonna go in and put them into here over the sink and then we're gonna run water, fresh water over them. Now, I use spring, you need to use spring water, not tap water when you're doing this, guys. So, I'm gonna rinse them really well with some more spring water. And I actually get my spring water near me in the spring. Guys, you would not believe the yuckiness is coming out into the thing when I'm doing this. This is crazy. So I use about a gallon of water to do this. We're gonna shake all the water off we can. Then I'm gonna put out some towels. And we're gonna allow these to dry till tonight. I'm sorry guys, yes, my towels have everything on under the sun because I don't use them just for tea towels, I use them for everything. So you wanna put them out and you wanna let them dry. And if there's some rotten ones in here, I'll pull them before I cook tonight because I did not sort them. And guys, strawberries to come by up here are hard. I'm gonna let them sit out here until they completely dry. Not sure how long that's gonna take. I'll let you guys know tonight in the live stream. We're gonna make some chocolate strawberries, guys. Now, I washed these strawberries earlier today in three cups of water with one cup of vinegar. They're not the greatest looking strawberries. It did kind of mess with my leaves, but. Yes, I think that's fine. They look good to me. I mean, they, they it's not strawberry season, so. No, guys, I went to three stores before I found them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some chocolate. I just chocolate in here. And we're gonna add a teaspoon of, of oil. This vegetable oil, what it does is it keeps the chocolate from cracking when you dip it in strawberries in it. That's the only thing it's for. Doesn't do anything else. So we're gonna put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and stir. Every 30 seconds you stir. Also, very important, no water in your container. It must be dry, 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 or your chocolate will seize, seize, seize. There you can see it's starting to little melt. We'll put it in for another 30 seconds. So tell them why you do it 30 seconds at a time. You do it 30 seconds at a time because the chocolate melts from the inside out and so you can't really tell by looking at it if it's melted. And you can literally overcook it and make it into a solid block of yuck. So don't do that. You can do it on the stove top. I do have a boiler to do that with. However, it takes a long time. And you know guys, this is, I'm trying to show you an easy thing to do. I made it without oil, and the oil is just to make it so it doesn't crack on the... Correct. So it's not necessary. You don't have to do no. it if you if you don't want to, no. but it's just... Uh, what that does is help to keep... So you know how when you get a chocolate strawberry and you bite into it and it shatters everywhere, the oil will keep that from happening. Oh, so it doesn't go get messy and yes. go everywhere. Correct. Okay. It keeps the chocolate on your strawberry and not on you. Which is, you know, I like chocolate in every bite. Yeah, but no one wants to be on a date and have, like, something yeah. brown on their face. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's worse than you're on a date and you eat a chocolate-covered strawberry and it shatters everywhere. And halfway through the date, you look down and you have chocolate boobage. That's not what you want. Okay, here's our chocolates ready. And you used, like, chocolate that is made for, like, it's dipping yes. chocolate. Yeah, it's chocolate wafers. I had the chocolate one. Well, here's the one I just melted. Okay. So, we're gonna get ourselves a strawberry here. Get your little leaves, pull them up. You do not want them in the chocolate, guys. And then you dip your chocolate, your strawberry in there. Don't get the leaves, let it kind of drain off, and then put it down. So simple. It is simple. And you know what, it makes me, uh, so, I don't know why they charge so much for them. Well, probably because of the strawberries. <laughs> yeah. Strawberries are really hard to find up here in New England. But I bet they put the ugliest ones. Yeah. They put them in makeup yeah. <laughs> called chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chocolate makeup on your, you put chocolate makeup, makeup on your chocolates. I love chocolate covered strawberries. And I think they're like delightfully, sinfully wonderful. I like, I like <clears throat> chocolate on anything really. I'm more fond of dark chocolate than I am of milk chocolate. Well, that's why we use the dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate. So you can make, you can make these ahead 
and have them in the refrigerator staying cold until your date. Yeah, and you probably would want to make these. Before I have these little tins. I'm going to put them in and then afterwards. And so those are cute. And they cut and they cut, and they you can get those at Walmart and any in grocery stores. And you can use those. They come with little lids and you can use those to cover your chocolates up. And uh. Let me get a few more of these done. We're not going to do all the strawberries tonight, guys. That would be absolutely crazy. But I have to do enough that my daughters and I can all eat chocolate covered with strawberries tonight or I will be in the doghouse. Beep up and around TikTok has asked, uh, have you ever chilled the trays in the fridge before starting? Yes, you can do that if you're in a hurry to get them to set up. They, Faster. They will set up quickly. This chocolate will set up quickly on its own. And uh, Kavita is asking, what kind of chocolate did you use? I used chocolate wafers just simply because I knew that this would dip nicely. If I was making them for myself just to eat, I'd probably be, do it the hard way with um, chocolate chips because I like I like the bitterness of dark chocolate and so I wouldn't but this is going to make a nicer coating and easier. Yeah, it's a lot easier for if you don't know have experience with chocolate. Yeah. So there we have them. We're going to melt, let me get a different container since that one had water in it. Let me see. Going to do the white chocolate. I'm going to do some white chocolate and I'm going to show you how I drizzle it on. So just put yourself some a little bit of white chocolate in here. We're going to put just a tiny bit of, because it's about six ounces to every teaspoon of, ooh. That's way too much. <laughs> just kind of drizzle a tiny bit, not a whole lot. Pop this in the microwave. This one probably won't take more than 30 seconds. Get yourself a zippy <coughs> flock of any kind, any brand. Ziploc is, I know, a name brand, but it's generic. People also. know what they're talking about. Yeah. Also, just so you know, just because I've seen you do this. Yes, we put oil in the chocolate as well. Yes. A little bit more than we did with that. No, just be work. Oh, it's add 30 seconds. It's add 30 seconds, yeah. Sorry, but yes, uh, we put oil in the dark chocolate as well. Uh, how much did you add in the dark chocolate? One teaspoon. Yeah, and that was more because we had more of the dark chocolate. Yes, six ounces or more. And this one, I don't have hardly any chocolate in there, so I, did, I just put a, like maybe an eighth of a teaspoon in with it. And that's just to help with it. Also, you're going to know um, the oil makes the chocolate also really shiny, as you can see as it's setting up. That's pretty. Almost there. Maybe once or twice more. Maybe once or twice more. Don't get impatient, guys. I'm telling you that from the queen of impatient. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. And I bought this t-shirt to wear next in the spring, but I had to wear it tonight because it has strawberries all over it. <laughs> well, we're having a strawberry theme. It's a strawberry... I mean, strawberries are about romance. Oh. Okay, our, our ch white chocolate's ready. Stir it up. Good. Thank you. Me too. I got it at Old Navy, guys. Okay. So we're going to get our white chocolate in here. Kind of spoon it in. Take all the air out. Kind of take your chocolate to the corner. If it's shut, then twist. And you're going to take the scissors and cut the tip off. Just a tiny tip. Now, guys, when you tip this upside down, it's going to start coming out. I think typically, not to judge what you're doing, but typically I think they go the whole width of the strawberries to make a nice drizzle. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an, I went to art college. You know, you, you paid loans for my art school. At least I could teach you how to do it. Okay. <laughs> or you can be really fancy. Okay. That one, guys, don't look at this one. That's the one that you eat before your date comes over. <laughs> yes. And those are our chocolate-covered strawberries. Actually, I'm going to throw them in the refrigerator until we're done. And they should so cute. And there we have it, guys. This is your perfect pre-gaming date. For Valentine's or any other game, any other date you have, you can make this, and you will make anyone you go out with feel special. And guys, you can do this, too. It's not just for women to do. So have a wonderful Valentine's and enjoy it. See you guys next time.